So that turned out pretty good. Grinded it, rounded the edges. Got it rounded the edges, look it. Put it in there. Man, you gotta get the right drill bits. You know, I had this thing on there, wouldn't even touch it. And then I switched to a, a metal bit that I, I don't know where it is now, but I just switched to a different bit, and went right through it. So, I mean, you gotta have, good lesson, you gotta have the right tools um, for the job. Well, <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to challenge that. So I wanna put a T in here. And I don't know, I was kinda fucking around. You know, I wanna, cause, Trower is kind of the tuning that I got, man. Wait, like I start explaining that. It's just, it's really, it's like a different key. But anyway, so if, it, if I did some sort of T, uh, I think it, ah, fuck, I, don't, I can't remember how it goes. Yeah, I think it looks, they look similar to this. It's like, you know, the old school, whatever. I wonder, do you like a T? Bam. And then that thickens out down there, I think. I wanted to do like a T, a T in there. Um, but I don't know what, I don't have an etching tool. I wonder if this, if this thing has a, uh, look at that. What the hell is that? Look at this thing. I can drill to the center of the earth on that thing. I don't think that's from metal. This looks nasty though. Ah, oh, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know what the hell that thing's for. It's just, yeah, that ain't for metal. Just kind of chamfers out your wood. Um, I think you grind it out with that. Etch it out with that. I don't really have the tool, I don't think. I don't think I have the tool to do it. Um, I was gonna give it a shot with something, anything that I got, what the hell. Um, but I don't even think I'm close to having the right tool unless this thing, eh, unless that thing does metal. Oh well. Um, oh well. Bummer. That would be kind of, kind of cool down there. Better write a date too. Better write a uh, city and a date. So because the, the anytime you're like, anytime you're in, here's my goal at least, and it, it seems to work. Anytime you're in like, um, you know, you're gonna go jam or whatever, anytime you need you need to know a key, you know? So it's, it's always like major, minor, um, then guys will be able to tell Dorian if the fourth is got, if it's a major fourth or if it's a minor fourth, and you can kind of hear that shit right off the bat. But, um, you know, you want to know what what key what key you're playing in, so that you know, like, if you're going to doodle around or you're going to mess around with some solos or where you're going. Plus, you want to get it heads up, like where the changes are going, so you know what kind of run you're going to do. It's going to lead to next changes and stuff like that. So, but um, the cool thing, and I think music has been doing it more and more, more and more. You know, they're going they're the, a, a good way to think about it is is tonic. Uh, a subdominant and dominant. So it's like you're, you're, and everything can be thought. Everything can come through those three positions, um, and those were a product of the Western Christian theory, which is just like the most brilliant thing ever. Um, but you're, you have tonic, which is kind of like thought of as your home base. You have subdominant, which would be the four chord. You got dominant, which is a five chord. Yeah, that's blues one four five. But it also goes way back before that. It's also the cadences that came out of. Um, out of Europe, you know, I guess, you know, during the 1700s, when, when, when the Western Christian theory and the chromatic scale c came about, that's what came from it. And, the, and those, those positions are ex tied extremely, have strong ties to your emotions. I mean, home is like home. It, it, it's at rest, it's at peace. Subdominant, the four chords always has this like little sense of levity to it. And the five chord, which they've kind of they the, the theory you know kind of adjusted the theory so that it's got a leading tone on there to give you that tension in the five chord so you want to resolve it back to the one chord um so tonic is always like where the song is resting and, and what's going on in the tonic and that's when you're always going to be major minor you know blues since the blues was invented 
you got a blues in the one chord, which is a whole other story. Because that, that's the, the here's here's the definition of the blues for anybody who wants to know. Put my thumbs in the fucking way. Here it is. It's the seven chord in the tonic position. That's what the blues is. The blues is not dun -dun 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 twelve bars, one, four, five, whatever. It doesn't. It's the seven chord, which is the dominant position that gives you the tritone and the leading tone. That taken out of the dominant position and put in the tonic position as the one chord as a entity at rest, that's the blues. And it had never been done before. I mean, you're gonna it had never been, it was invented in the United States, fucking Mississippi, 19 fucking hundreds. That's when they took that. Now it came from the structure of the chromatic scale because you got your four positions, you got your tonic, subdominant, dominant. You have those positions interacting. But they the t the taunt the dominant chord because they took the major scale and put the major seven on there the leading tone which took the seven out of the tonic position so it was always the seven chord in your tritone was always a a tool for tension and resolution to come back to resolve to the tonic. That's how it was used. It was brilliant. I mean, it's brilliant. I mean, you can, guys that write music can, can control your emotions. I mean, they can make you feel anxious. They can make you feel happy, the sad, the this and this. And it's all because of those three positions. Now, every chord can be, can come out of those three positions. Like a two chord can come out of the four chord. And it's like the three chord can be a one chord or it can be a substitution or the six chord can be a substitution for the one chord. But it's all tonic, subdominant, and dominant. That's all, that's everything is. And when you're in the tonic position, traditionally you want to know, okay, where am I? You know, is it a major and you're like going up the major scale or is it is it uh, a minor scale or is it, you know, whatever. Dorian, where you got to raise the... The, the four chord, but it's still, you're, 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 you're pigeonholed into this tonic position. The blues doesn't, the blues, it, it goes away from that. The blues liberates that tonic position because the tritone is such a volatile uh, interval that it almost acts as a wormhole to other parts of the harmonic spectrum. So when you play a seven chord in a tonic position, you can sneak out. You can get outside of your traditional um, modes. And that's what jazz is. That's why jazz, jazz is, you can get outside. So from that, then rock and roll from the blues is like, you know, sometimes you'll hear it where you'll go to a minor six you'll go to a, a, a six chord in a minor key, but then you'll come back to the tonic chord and you'll, and you'll um, resolve it to a major chord. They'll do that a lot. That's kind of a little trick that they've been doing. And it, and it goes against classical theory, but it kind of sounds cool, but it, it's all because of the blues. It's because when you drop that seven, then you, you open yourself up anyway. The cool thing about the five string tuning and the trial tunings that you're dealing with one five one five one those are your things so when you go to your tonic it it, it you you can you can go boom you can you can like you can go the major four chord minor four chord bam you can go to a a a, a six chord you can go you can go um to a leading tone you can go the you can kind of sneak into all these things and what I try to do is I try to let the next, whatever's coming up next in the song dictate like where you're gonna, gonna, gonna kind of go around um, when you're on the tonic. Just almost a lot like blues, really. I mean, so, it, so it's like when you're playing a song, it's like, oh, what key in this? Well, I'm going, yeah, it's almost like you default to minor. Minor's a great key for guitar. You default to minor, but you don't wanna just only play a minor scale over that crap because it sounds corny. So you want to be able to color it in certain areas. And man, with the five string guitar, fuck, you can go, you're just, because you have these pedal tones of the one and the five is pedaling. And that's a common tone no matter what fucking key you're in. 
Whether you're Dorian, whether you're Major, whether you're Harmonic Minor, whether you're fucking Mixolydian, whether you're fucking some sort of, you know, half-tone Eastern fucking whatever, it doesn't matter. Everything's always pedaling. If you're pedaling the one and five, you can slip in and out of those other chords, those other tones. So it's almost like I, I feel like I got a new tonic, a new mode, it's, and I call it Trower. Um, and, so, and, and what it means is like, you know, listen, yeah, it's going to default to minor, probably Dorian. It's most of the time, but not always. And, and listen to what it is. So anyway, that's where the T comes from. And that's what I'm trying to do with the music. Um, we'll see how it plays out. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited that I'm, you know, found a little energy to do it. That's the hardest thing as you get older is just finding the energy. You know, keeping your bills paid and finding the energy. Anyway, more on that later.